white flag. Got Bobby Hamilton pushing on him from behind. Two Dodges lined up on the high side. Rick Crawford on the low side. And here comes Terry Cook now on the high side. Terry Cook going for the pass as they go into turn one. Three wide. They split Terry Cook in the middle. Crawford to the downside. He's going to get help. Here comes Travis Quapple. Quapple on the bottom side. Rick Crawford on the inside. Robert Presley on the high side. Bobby Hamilton right behind him. They're pushing him down the back. The bottom stretch. line. The bottom line. Here it comes. Rick Crawford coming back now. Robert Presley out in front. He's going to be able to block Crawford and stay on the bottom. And Robert Presley going to try to defend his title here. Dennis the Setzer makes it three. Up on top. Dennis sets around the outside of Bobby Hamilton. Here they come out of four. Presley dodging to the high side. Crawford goes down low. He tries they to make the pass. And they're coming to the line. It's Rick Crawford making the pass. And Crawford wins the Daytona 250. What a win for Tom Mitchell. Sitting at home in Texas watching it on speed. That's what I'm talking about. Truck racing. I wonder if Rick's little boy's here. It'd be great to see him in, in, in the pits here. One to go. Two truck links between your leader and second. This is going to be a great finish as Bobby Hamilton takes him down the back stretch. Ted Musgrave right behind him. Turn two is the best place to make a move. Ted gained only, but he couldn't quite do it. Look coming here. Watch going into three. It's tightening up. Ted Musgrave on the inside. Bobby Hamilton on the outside. The bottom. As they come through three and four, it's Ted Musgrave oh, on man. the inside. Bobby Hamilton is going to be able to close the door, and Hamilton wins the Craftsman 200. I don't think they're happy. They are very happy. Good job, everybody. Good job. That's a fact. Dennis Setzer putting about six truck links between himself and second place John Wood. The white flag flies as they cross the start finish line. Watch Musgrave and Hamilton back there. They're really duking it out. Brendan Gone trying to get up to the back of John Wood, but I don't think he's got enough truck to do it. In the meantime, he's been caught up. Dennis Setzer in the 46 Axiom. Hamilton into the back of him, giving him a little help here. Coming out of turn number four, Dennis Setzer wins race number two at Mesa Marin. What a race. This is what it's all about. Here we come. White flag just flew, gentlemen. Dennis Setzer out in front as he has a straightaway and a half to go. Dennis Setzer in the Axiom Chevrolet looking to repeat his win here a year ago as well as go two in a row on short tracks. It's Dennis Setzer taking the checkered flag. Tip of the hat to those guys. I mean, strong, very strong in Bakersfield. Whoa, trouble in front straight. Kenny got. That's been going on for three laps. It was David Starr and Kenny Schrader. They've done that six times in two laps. <laughs> they ready for 30 minutes right there, guys. One lap to go. Ted Musgrave out in front. Brendan gone right behind him. The fireworks lap. It's all for all the glory right now. We've got a half a lap to get it done. Come on, Brendan. He's closing in on Ted Musgrave as they go down the back stretch. It's the Mopar Dodge, number one of Ted Musgrave and the American Racing Wheels, number 62 of Brendan Gaughan as they make the final turn. Brendan Gaughan stays high through three. He's going to try to make the pass on Ted Musgrave. As they come out of four, it's going to be Ted Musgrave holding on for the win. And we got a caution up in the middle of three and four. Big trouble up between three and four. Several trucks involved. Three, four, five. Wreck still happening. Big crash up there. 25 flat that lap for both of them. Jason Leffler comes by the start-finish line. The white flag flies, looking to claim his first ever NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series win in the ASE Car Quest Dodge. Down the back stretch he goes. Under a half of a mile to go for it. Jason Leffler. How about Dennis Connor coming on board first race? Call it, Rick. He comes out of turn number four, and the MBNA Armed Forces Family 200 champion crosses the start finish line. That was owner Jimmy Smith. Look at that. And she knows she's going to get to go shopping. <laughs> I told you she's going to crack. Well, he is less than half a lap away from a doing what only one other driver has been able to do before, Jack Sprague winning three consecutive races at the same track, coming through turns three and four. The Orleans Dodge of Brendan Gaughan will come out and see the checkered flag flying here at Texas. Stay tuned for a major burnout. Pretty good race, guys, I'm telling you. 
White flag. White flag comes out, guys. Ted Musgrave out in front. Ultra Motorsports. Jimmy Smith's been a part of this series since its inception in 1995. He's had a truck running in every race, all 200 of them. And also, they were currently in second in the all-time wins behind Roush. Now, if Popple's Ted there. Musgrave can hold on. Popple's right there. He comes out of turn number four, and Ted Musgrave wins the O'Reilly 200. Not by much, he did. Great run for Popple. He was there all day, every lap. Yeah, 12 no. one-hundredths of a second was the difference between Ted Musgrave and the 16 of Travis Popple. And again, another fantastic finish <laughs> here in the Truck Series. Our flagman shows the white flag. One lap of racing to go. Brendan Gaughan tries to hold off Jason Leffler in the number two. And, and Gaughan having to work around slower lap traffic now. That's Chad Chaffin in the number 18 that's out in front of him. Jason Leffler right behind him now. Chaffin's going to move to the inside and let Brendan Gaughan by. And that could be right there the most important pass of the day for Brendan Gaughan because as he comes through turns three and four, Jason Leffler behind him more than three truck lengths and Brendan Gaughan will win his second race of the year. John Wood crosses the start one finish more, line. One more. The white flag flies, meaning 1.5 miles to go for this newly sponsored Bob Graham for President Ford. The last time a Ford was in victory lane was at Daytona with Rick Crawford. And now John Wood trying to put the Fords back in victory lane here at Kansas. Looking for his first win in 48 starts. As he comes out of turn number four, John Wood will see the checkered flag from Dennis James and win his first ever NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race. Crouch one, two. Unbelievable run. He came from the farthest back you can come in a race because of a motor change. Went to the front numerous times and wins his first race here at Kansas. And we got 90,000 people on their feet. Roush noticed that there was a lot of success and a lot of greatness with this kid as he sees the white flag. One lap to go, one and a half miles. And now we got a race for second. Could be claiming his first ever victory in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Yeah, and there is a great race for yeah, second. Here's the race mentioned. for second right here. You saw Musgrave. You could see it getting into turn one. He was going to make a move. Carl's all out front, unsponsored. The unsponsored 99 Ford of Carl Edwards makes his final turn. Coming out of turn number four, he sees the checkered flag go, and man. wins. Yeah. The built Ford Tough 225 has been claimed by Carl Edwards. Everybody taking a deep breath as the white flag flies one time around this mile and a quarter track here in St. Louis. Hold on, baby. Here I come. Bring us home, Rick. Gone out in front as they go down the tricky back stretch coming out of turn number two. And Jason Leffler tries to get the nose on the inside. He closes the gap ever so slightly. But it's Brendan Gone in the casino. Queen, number 62 this week, that tries to hold off the hard-charging two of Jason Leffler. When they come through three and four, it'll be a sprint to the finish. Brendan Gaughan out in front of Jason Leffler as they come to the checkered flag for win number three of 2003. Alan Porter showing them the white flag. Two miles remain you know we in this one here at Michigan. That damn good. That's why we win these things. <laughs> and normally... Other races, we hadn't heard Brendan Gaughan talking very much at the end of the race and him giving praise to his team as he works his way. That's when you're good, when you can talk on the final lap. He can knock it out of gear right now. He works his way through three and four in the Orleans Dodge, number 62. Nice job, Kevin. And Brendan Gaughan comes to the start-finish line, the winner of the Sears 200. Good job, Brendan. Nice job. As they come across the start-finish line, the white flag comes out. One lap around this oval here at IRP. And the race for the lead is on. It's Travis Quapple trying to reel in the 99 of Carl Edwards. And he's up on that wall. He's up on that wheel. He's coming. Look at that. 
as he drives hard through three and four. Carl Edwards coming out of turn number four, and Carl Edwards will win the Power Stroke Diesel 200. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. He has 1.2 seconds between the 99 and the 1, and the 1 has got a little bit of traffic here with the 15. And if he makes it through this 3 and 4 here one more time, boys, we're going to see a backflip in the grass, I hope. Coming out of turn number 4, the number 99 of Carl Edwards dominates the Federated Auto Parts 200. And this has become a familiar sight, folks. We have saw it. We've seen it two times before. And this could be the third as Carl Edwards gets out of the truck. We'll see. Flip number three. And as they work their way through three and four, they come out of turn number four to see the white flag. Oh, and trouble. problems with Kevin Harvick. He's into the wall. Travis Quapple goes by the start finish line with the white flag out. Got it. White Kevin flag. Harvick got it. is still on the racetrack. No caution has come out yet. I felt it in my bones. Cut Travis Quapple coming through three and four. Could it be the first win of 2003? Travis Quapple comes up to the caution flag. Green, white, checker, boys. You, it's in your bones, brother. I'm telling you. But these old bones, they'll let you know. Oh, no, he's working the bottom. Up in front, it is Tony Stewart leading Robert Presley with one lap to go. Yeah. Three quarters of a mile here at Richmond International Raceway. Drive it down to the bottom, Robert. That's the only place you can go. Tony's up high. Tony Stewart looking to repeat here at Richmond. He's only run three Craftsman Truck Series races. This will be his second win if he can hold on. Robert Presley coming out of turn number four. Tony Stewart wins the Virginians for Love 200. Look at that battle. Bobby Hamilton. Oh, he wrecked Sprint. He's gone on the last turn. They came across the checker, but... As they come by the start-finish line, Jimmy Spencer sees the white flag. One lap to go to his first-ever victory here in New Hampshire, and this will be his first-ever Truck Series victory in only his second start. And he's got a lot of distance over second place. Carl Edwards and Bobby Hamilton as they battle back behind him. Jimmy Smith. Jimmy, Jimmy Smith is going to be very happy for Jimmy Spencer. And then Vaughn, the point situation, guys, on the outside of Dennis Setzer trying to wrestle away that position. And I think he's going to get it. That's five points right there. Out of turn number four, Jimmy Spencer gets the checkered flag at the New Hampshire 200. What an awesome job. Sets are, are gone. I mean, that was a photo finish. I think Sets got back by him. But, hey, all these guys made it on fuel, so I was wrong, Rick. The white flag displayed. One lap remaining for Ted Musgrave and the Moose Hard Dodge. We know fuel's not going to be an issue. He pitted on lap 67. He only had to run 33 laps, so should be nothing in his way to nothing standing in his way to get that number three win here in a row in california he was supposed to start 10 that's where he qualified yesterday they changed him over he went to the back of the field and he's gone all the way from the back of the field to the front and as he comes out of turn number four the checkered flag will be displayed for ted musgrave who wins the american racing wheels 200. Dennis James gave Brendan Gaughan the white flag just under a mile and a half now. This Las Vegas crowd will go wild if Brendan Gaughan is able to hold on and outrun the 11 of Jack Sprank to the start-finish line. He has two quarters to go. As he goes into three and four, he has an ever-so-slight lead over the 11 of Jack Sprank. The Orleans Casino and Hotel comes out of turn number four. And Prison God will win the Las Vegas 350. White flag flies for your leader as he goes by the start finish line. Oh, bumping and banging. Carl Edwards on the outside. The checkered flag will fly for short track ace Dennis Setzer. Good job, guys. Way to go. There's a the record on Andy Houston. David Starr's around. He's going again. Andy Houston got spun. We saw Brendan gone. We heard his spotter say clear. He's heard that many times at Texas. All clear out in front of you as he makes his way through the final two corners. Brendan gone. Four feet at Texas Motor Speedway.
just over a half mile of racing to go. John Wood out in front. It's Petrie again. No caution. They've already taken the white flag. So if a caution does come out, it will come out with the checkered, I believe. Look at the battle for second place. We had a problem right there. Carl Edwards checked up. He's going to be all right, though. John Wood comes out of turn four and will win in Virginia. John Wood, your winner of the Advance Auto Parts 200. Dennis Setzer still out in front of the 99. The white flag flies for Kevin Harvick, who has about a second lead over Ted Musgrave. Dennis Setzer sits in third position. And the points battle is going to be so tight when we get to Homestead. Brendan Gaunt having problems. He's dropped back to 12th position. One more drop back, and he's back where he's been every year. 13th, where he finished last two of them. Kevin Harvick will win the Chevy Silverado 150. Let's see where Brendan Gaunt comes across the line here. He's currently being shown, shown in a 12th position. Nice job today, Kevin Harvick. You are the damn man. Travis Bumble across the start finish line in the ninth position. There's Brennan. He's going to finish in the 12th position. One better than his average. One better than his average. But what a tough long day he had. The white, white flag, flag flies. One and a half miles to go for the 2003 championship. Currently, Ted Musgrave being shown in six, but the black flag comes out for him. Travis Bumble and Dennis Setzer fighting for seven. Side by side down the back. If Ted Musgrave has been black flagged, Look Travis Quapple will come out. Bobby Hamilton takes the checkered flag. And Travis Quapple will win the 2003 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. I well, Jimmy. I think Jimmy Smith may be, may be celebrating a little bit prematurely there. Because the black flag was definitely out for Ted Musgrave. Just a little confusing. What a day! What a day! Oh man! I waited nine years for this. Oh. I'd hate to be the bearer of bad news there. When the official comes to talk to Jim Smith. Right? Yes. Hey Barry, we got a Wisconsin champion over in Winston Cup, and now we got one in trucks. Congratulations, man! What an amazing deal to come here and finally get the big trophy. Congratulations! This is awesome. Uh, this is why, right here. This team, Dave Fuge, Steve Coulter. They put a truck under me that is superior. <laughs> the crowd's booing, but Ted was desperate. He was desperate. He, you know, green, white, checkered, he had to make up two spots on me, and uh, it wasn't going to happen under green flag. I'm just so proud of this team, Chevrolet Silverado, IWX Motor Freight. Everybody supports us. Mark Smith builds great engines. We didn't have a one-engine problem all year long, and... Uh, Unbelievable. I, I'm speechless. I thought I was going to see the 11 truck go flying straight to the backwards and let you go forward. What happened there? That didn't happen either. Well, I, I, I'm sure Jack was going to help us if it came right down to it, but uh, we were we were racing uh, the 50 and the 11. We were running them down. We were going to pass them, and that was going to be insurance for us to win the championship. But uh, a couple of cautions right late in the race kind of spoiled our plans, and I didn't know what was going to happen. And luckily, uh, like I said, Ted was desperate. He had to make up some ground on a green-white checker deal, and uh, he took a chance, and I guess it probably just didn't pay off for him. Long way from Madison International, isn't it? It sure is. That's, I mean, I want to thank everybody back home. Uh, Kevin Lash, Bruce Miller, the guys that really helped me out in my race career, bought me tires, paid for my engines, uh, bought chassis parts, Jim Pearson, Butch Hanson, everybody that's helped me out, them guys, uh, this is for you. This is the only way I can pay you back. Okay, congratulations. Travis Quapple is the champion two years in a row, and IWX truck sits here at the champion stage.